Hello, praise the Lord. Welcome to the transformative world of daily dose of God's word with Pastor Cherry Sean. Get ready to embark on a journey where the power of God's word meets your life challenges. In this podcast, Pastor Cherry will delve into a profound teaching of faith, motivation, and practical application of biblical wisdom. Be inspired as you listen. Hello everybody, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Now this morning I'm going to be talking on a special subject, a special topic which is mistakes or mentors. Sometimes we learn from our mistakes and most of the time the Lord expects us to learn from having a mentor in our lives. Most of us have this question, do we really need mentors in life? Do we really need spiritual fathers in life or a leader in life who could oversee us and help us guide through the challenges of life. The problem with us is that, you know, when this question arises, maybe there is a weakness, there is an attitude problem that is in us. And this attitude problem is a problem where we don't want to submit to a person. Submission to a person is very difficult. It's very challenging. But only if you realize and understand the significance and the beauty that is hidden in it and how powerful you could become when you submit, you will understand the importance of of having a mentor in life i would want to quickly elaborate on why we need a coach you know by just taking you through the history of this word the purpose of this word the purpose of a mentor and then why we need to have mentors in life you know the word coach derives from the horse drawn coaches that were developed in the towns of cox during the 15th century you know the vehicles were originally used to transport royalty but in time they also carried valuables mails and common passengers you know a coach contains something or someone who carries a valued person from where they are to where they want to be and that is why we call the coaches you know especially in the railway trains after the engines we find coaches you know coaches are the places where a leader a captain or a local pilot of that train leads us from point a to point b you know in other cultures and languages coaches are known by many different names and titles in japan a sensei is one who has gone farther down the path in martial arts it's a designated title for a master in sanskrit we call a mentor as a guru you know is one with a great knowledge and wisdom gu means darkness and ru means light a guru takes someone from darkness to light in tibetan language we call a lama a lama is one with spirituality and authority to teach in tibetan buddhism the dalai lama is the highest ranking teacher in italy we call mentor as a master is a master teacher of music it is short for mastero di cappella in meaning master of the chapel you know in france we call a tutor a tutor is a private teacher the term dates to the 14th century and refers to one who served as a watchman in england they call a mentor as a guide a guide is the one who knows and shows the way it it denotes the ability to see and point out the better course in greece we call a mentor mentor is a wise and a trusted advisor these are the definitions of a mentor in different different languages in different cultures in different contexts this morning i would want to tell you a blunt truth Uh, this truth is if we don't listen to mentors we have to learn from our mistakes mentors teaches us a lesson before we get burned but mistakes teaches us a lesson after we get burned some people don't even learn from their mistakes to those who claim to only learn from the master jesus you must understand that even jesus submitted to his earthly parents he honored men like john the baptist and his life was always submitted to his father you know people were amazed at jesus's authority but the secret to the authority was living under authority i would want you to know you can't walk in authority if you don't walk under authority according to a research by a social psychologist by name dr david mcleland of howard you know the people with whom you habitually associate 
with are called your reference group you know these people determine as much as 95% of your success or failure in life is you are the same today that you are going to be in 5 years from now the only two determining factors that can change are the people with whom you associate and the books you read you know nobody is a whole chain every person is a link but if you take away one link and the chain is broken nobody is a whole team each person is a player but take away one player and the game is forfeited nobody is a whole orchestra every person is a musician but take away one musician and the symphony is incomplete you guessed it you know we need each other you need someone and someone needs you isolated islands are never a successful islands to make this thing called life work we got to learn to support each other to relate and to respond to give and to take to confess and to forgive to reach out and embrace and to release and to rely upon you know since none of us are all independent self sufficient super capable all powerful or you know or shots let's quit acting like we are you know lives lonely enough without playing that silly role you know joshua needed moses david needed samuel elisha needed elijah disciples needed jesus timothy needed paul we all need each other and we need others who will help and direct us to shape our character and protect us from pride and foolishness learn to honor your mentors your pastors your leaders your guides listen to your advisors or you will end up learning from your mistakes i hope you will not learn from your mistakes but learn from mentors may you live a life of blessing may you live a life filled with testimony for others to look up to you and walk into the path that you are walking as well may god bless you i hope this podcast was a blessing to you consider sharing this podcast i will see you soon my friend as we conclude another empowering episode of daily dose of god's word with pastor chori shon remember that your journey towards a transformed life has just begun to know more about us check out our social media handles thank you